Alright guys, well welcome back to another Planet Zoom modding tutorial. My name is Leaf and as always, it's awesome to have you guys here. Now, you probably clicked on this video hoping to learn how to learn how to rig edit. And you know what, that's exactly what we're going to do today. But before we get into rig editing, I just want to say this is a little bit of an advanced level tutorial. I just want to say you should probably check out Nick's tutorials, you should probably check out Level Wolf's tutorials, Mayor G's, Jesse's, all before you actually get involved in rig editing. It's still a pretty wonky process. I've kind of, I would say I've made myself quite adept at it, but it's still a very difficult process to get a handle on. And I just wanna make sure that you guys understand like how it all works beforehand. So first of all, you're going to want to extract your MS2. I already have my reticulated giraffe. We're just gonna make the giraffe neck shorter in that case. And you're gonna want um, extract it right there. And what you're also wanna, go going to want to do you're also going to want to drag your OVLs, like your nice clean OVLs, into a safe place on your desktop. Then it's because you may mess up in this. It's very easy to mess this process up. It's pretty complicated. And yeah, so basically, you just want to make sure you're taking as many steps as possible just to keep everything safe, everything clean, yada, yada, yada. So over here, one of the rules of thumb is that you need to delete a bone to change a bone. And that's because whenever you want to change a bone, let's just say you want to change the neck. So you want to edit that bone to make the giraffe neck do that. Well, you can't do that because you can't just outright edit bones. You need to add one. And so in order to add one, we need to make sure we have the same amount of bones. So rule of thumb is if you want to add a bone, you take a bone. And one of the things that you need to learn also is that some bones have hit checks associated with them. These are these big circle things. They look kind of like pill capsules. You cannot get rid of a bone if it corresponds with one of those. So this bone right here, if I just go into modeling, it's this one right there. You cannot get rid of that one. However, this one, it doesn't have any hit check associated with it. You can zoom in. It does not have anything. So you can outright delete that. So say goodbye to that. You just hit the delete key and then that's it. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to check to make sure that one does not have any weight paint associated with it. So that is tail eight. So we just deleted tail nine. So we're going to go into object mode and then weight paint mode and allow me just to move my other computer because it is blocking my peripherals. And you're going to want to find the tail, which corresponds with that one. So tail eight, I guess. I'm not sure, actually. What one did we just delete? Hold on. You can already tell Leaf is not the best teacher, but I'm trying my best. Okay, tail eight joint one. So we delete that one and then we go back over here. And so we try and find tail. Oh, I guess we tail def. Nope. Okay, we can't search. So we're going to try and find def tail root joint actually why aren't we in weight paint mode yeah you guys can pretty much tell like i am not good at making tutorials whatsoever but hey we're learning together and that's all that matters and it seems like there is no tail joint i guess so that's a little interesting i'm just gonna do like another scroll down through here just make sure that we don't have anything that's fur okay anything that like edits the tail we're gonna be able to see so nothing at the tail okay so I guess that was honestly kind of a useless bone so awesome so now we're gonna want to go into the rake over here and then we're gonna duplicate the bone that we want to do so this is where I try and like figure stuff out first so let's just say I want to make the neck shorter kind of like well what if I want to make the neck yeah shorter I guess so we can go like something like that and we can honestly have him tuck his neck into his yeah that's gonna look amazing honestly <laughs> oh great it's good it's he's gonna look like a turtle we'll make a turtle giraffe in that case so once we've determined the bone that we want to change we can shift d we can shift d okay we need to do it in edit mode so shift d and place it exactly where you just dropped it and now you need to rename it. So I'm just going to name it Ah because this giraffe is going to be screaming. And yes, yeah, so in order to see where we link our bones now, because now that we added a new bone, we got to determine 
where exactly that bone will link to. So we see def C neck joint. We will see where that relates to. So it's def C neck one. And we will select ah, and we will link that to def C neck joint two. And then this one over here, we will link that to ah. So if I did that correctly, we should be able to move ah. And yeah, there we go. We can finally edit our little giraffe. So now you are able to freely pose it as to wherever you want. And yeah, let's just say we want to tuck him into himself kind of like this. And kind of, yeah, just have him be like a little bit of a turtle giraffe. So once we actually determine where we want it to be, we can also shrink it as well. So that's something that I kind of want to get into, just trying to get the shrinkage working. And yeah, that's essentially all you need to do in terms of posing. So once you actually determine your pose, you can do this with almost any amount of bones, just as long as you have the correct amount of like appliable bones, I guess. You can't have anything with hit checks or physics joints, of course. But once you actually figure everything out, you will actually go into the modifiers tab. That's the one with the um, wrench over here. And then you will see the armature set active modifier with the uh, things, I guess. So you click this arrow over here and then you hit apply. And then you're going to want to do that for all associated models. So the giraffe actually has a lot of models. So you're going to want to do that to every single one. And that includes the fur as well. So once you actually get all these done, we can finally move on to the next part. And the next part will involve you going into pose mode. You want to select ah, and then you're going to want to go pose, apply, apply selected as rest pose. So now if you deselect it and pose clear transform all, this will not change at all. So you will have a perfectly uh, stagnant model. So after you do that, you're going to want to go into object mode. And I believe this is where it starts to get a little bit tricky. But what you're going to want to do, you are going to want to select all of these models and then select the rig last. And then what you're going to want to do, you want to do control P, armature deform with empty groups. And then there you go. That's all you need to learn for that. And then of course, after you do all of that, you can start to edit your model however you want. You can do, um, I don't know, let's give our little guy a bigger hump, I guess. So you can have that kind of action going on right there. You can have him have a dummy thick butt, I guess. And yeah, that's pretty much all you need to do. So I'm not going to do all the LODs because this is just for tutorial sake. But to export it, you just do extract as MDL2. Check edit bones. Make sure to check edit bones or else it will not work in game. It will give you some like distortion or something like that. Just make sure you always click that beforehand. And so once we actually get all that done, it will export eventually. I'm just stalling right now before it does. And then we inject these back into the OVL. And we are going to go back over to the giraffe OVL, save over it. And we're actually going to jump into Planet Zoo just to test it out. And while we're jumping in here, because I'm way too lazy to pause my recording, I just want to give a quick shout out to the modding Discord. So if you guys aren't part of that yet, please do join it. It is such a wonderful place to workshop like all your mods with everyone else. It's so awesome. Jesse and Hendrix have cultivated such a beautiful, beautiful community. And I highly embrace going to that. Even if you aren't a modder, if you even are just interested in like the modding process, it's really awesome to see like everyone put their creations all together. Just show off like, you know, each little step people make along the way. I just love following like everyone's work from like Jens to Bongos and everyone else in between and just seeing people post every one of their like little updates. And it's also a really good place to get some help if you do need it. Not emotional help though. Um, I, I cannot guarantee that you should probably go to a therapist for that. I'm running out of jokes with this long Cobra screen guys. I also hope you can see the Cobra screen. Um, I am recording full screen right now, so I'm not sure if it'll actually load in. 
But yeah, we're just going to jump into one of our testing zoos. So we're actually going to go to this one I was working with the platypi in. By the way, I hope the platypi are out by this time. If they're not, check like every day. They're almost close to being done. I just have like a few more finishing touches to put on them. Uh, but yeah, that's probably going to date itself in quite some time. But yeah, so I'm just excited to see this little giraffe happen in game. Fingers crossed we actually did it correctly because, you know, I'm kind of worried it didn't. And you know what? While I have you guys here, why don't you guys consider subscribing? Why don't you consider liking the video? And heck, if you guys even have some questions, feel free to pop them out because I am more than happy to answer them. Also, I forgot which gender giraffe we did. So we're just going to do both of them over here. And then we're just going to speed up time and wait for them to be delivered. And I will show you guys if we have correctly rig edited. Of course, if you guys have any more questions, uh, where is he going? I don't know. All right. So yeah, if you guys have any more questions, be sure to ask, be sure to comment, be sure to do anything. So this guy over here, we have correctly rig edited the giraffe. And unfortunately, oh, it seems like it crashed. So I'm not sure what happened there, but usually that's the entire process for it. I believe that may have had something to do with the with the little bit of platypi we have in there. They are still a work in progress, but yeah, that's essentially the whole rig editing process. Obviously, you saw some deformations with the face over there. It's very important to make sure that you understand how the animations work first and foremost because that is going to determine like whether or not everything will work in the first place. But yeah, that is pretty much all I have to show for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of a sneak peek into rig editing. And if you guys have any questions, please do join the bonding discord. Please do comment down below. I am more than happy to help you out. And if I am not able to, there will always be someone else to help you out. So yeah, my name is Leaf and thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you were able to learn something today. Take care and have a great day.